to the center, please. In one minute, few words, show some love to MD. Say something about MD Joseph. Sorry, Reverend Joseph is no longer MD. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, um, for me, I want to say service is um, a privilege from God and also men. Okay? If there was no man, there will be no one to serve. Okay? Um, Reverend, Reverend Joseph, I want to applaud you and I want to congratulate you for your selfless service. I want to say, may the Lord bless you real good because you have served. God will not end in serving you. He will not stop serving you. He will consistently lift you up. This, this celebration is, a, it has, I don't know what to say, but this celebration is just a small thing. It'll just prepare for a bigger one. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. You. Pass the mic over, sir. To Honorable Timothy. Me. Hallelujah. The voice. I am not an honorable. I am Dr. <laughs> Timothy, me, please. Thank you very much. Joseph is my elder brother. I know most of you do not know that. We spent a lot of time together. When I left home years ago, I rented my own apartment, but I was staying in Bishop Raphael's house, mostly. My house was empty, and we had so much time together. The young man is a blessed man, so um, I wouldn't want to start to pray for blessings. He's a blessed man. I would want to say one thing that everybody is afraid of saying here. Joseph Sabi argue. Hey. In all of us, we go argue, we go argue for hours, hours. Yes, me self, we know the Greek, we go argue for hours. But he's a beautiful soul, very humble. Uh, I, I want to specifically thank Elaye for doing this. Joseph has served, yes. served, yes. served. It is not easy being a music director mm. and being a music director for 17 years and being a music director to somebody like Dr. Timitimi, you know, easy. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. The mic, sir. Thank you very much. Dr. Faith <laughs> Zips. Dr. Timitimi, thank you. <laughs> You're actually the initiator of the argument. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to recognize the presence of uh, my daddies in the house and all senior friends and everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Brother Joseph, I will say something. I used to, I used to hear that he's, now, he's Pastor Joseph, all of a sudden Reverend. Okay, now Reverend Joseph. We used to know him as Brother Joseph over 20 something years ago when I was in the choir. You know, um, you cannot talk about Reverend Joseph without talking, without talking about Dr. Pabra Iguele. Hey, God. <laughs> in fact, I'm glad to know that discipline still exists in the choir. In those days, before Dr. Pabra handed over to, to Reverend Joseph, you dare not come late. That corner, you will stand on chair. You will carry chair on your head. The discipline was intense. Then when Joseph took over, he continued. Discipline, discipline, discipline. You know, I, I know you as someone that cannot sing, but you have made singers. Yes. <laughs> you cannot, he cannot, Reverend Joseph cannot sing to the best of my knowledge. He started from, from start to finish, but he has made singers, you know. So I want to appreciate you, sir, for making me. There are two main mentor, musical mentors of my life that built me from youthful age, you know, I can't talk about my musical life without mentioning Dr. Pabra Iguele and now Reverend Joseph. I want to appreciate you and I want to, and I'm glad to let you know that I'm still in the ministry. I still Hallelujah. sing, praise the Lord. But wait, before I drop the mic, let me just do one song. I know you remember this song. I did this song on my wedding day. I did the solo of this song on my wedding day. Oh Lord, Lord, we praise you. Oh Lord, we glorify you. Oh Lord, we lift your name up high. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. What if these old people 
hand on the mic and do some old songs for us. That's <laughs> the same time, time. But it should be fun, Sha. Daddy, daddy, daddy should we entertain you? Should they entertain you? <laughs> Everybody's saying yes. He can play the bass. Let's see what okay. play the bass. Mike for Mr. Mike, I know Mr. the S. Mike, let's give them mic. Mike. This was actually one of my first songs I soloed over 20 years ago, and we are repeating this song again. Oh Lord, Lord, we praise you. Oh Lord, we glorify you. Oh Lord, we lift your name up high in all the earth. Yeah. Oh Lord, we magnify you and bless, bless your holy name. First of all, I'd like to thank the church reverend. Thank you very much for the privilege. I see my father seated here, Bishop Bob Manuel and Bishop Reverend Amaratua. I 
It is amazing to be here because I actually started when Church of God Mission came to Yenegua. We were the ones wow. that started Church of God Mission. I could remember when this place was cleared. And at the time, Reverend Ghana was the reverend that was here. And after then, we, we joined the choir, the likes of Dr. Newton, Parra, and his siblings, myself, and Bishop, um, what's, it, what's his name again? Bishop um, Dautimi. We were all in the choir, and we started off. And not quite long, Bishop Raphael came, and 2006, when Bishop Manuel came, he was the one that wedded us. So wow. 17 years after, it is amazing seeing that immediately after Dr. Newton handed over the baton to now Reverend Joseph, he's still the one piloting the affairs of the choir. Because when I asked, they were like, he's still the MD. I was like, for someone to be serving, because I know that by December 9th, my marriage will be 17 years. Wow. So <laughs> it means that he has served for almost 17 years. For him to serve these years goes a long way in telling us that it takes humility and the grace of God for someone to handle such a position because most persons that are highly placed would have taken such position for granted. I want to thank you for one thing, one thing that keep, you know, stood out for brother, now Reverend Joseph, I think it's the fact that he's very humble. And whatever God has placed you, if you're not humble, you, there is little or nothing you can do. You will never go far. Yeah. It takes someone who is humble to get to the top. And for the fact that he's been celebrated today, tells us that wherever we find ourselves, we should be humble so that God will always lift us Amen. up. Thank you very much for doing a Thank very you. fantastic job. And I want to appreciate the organizers for putting up this together to celebrate this. I don't think it has happened. No, it hasn't. Right from inception till now. Maranatha, the name was given to the choir when Reverend Raphael came. He was like, you don't have a name. In short, Maranatha is your name from now on. So that was how Maranatha name came to be. So I want to thank everyone that the baton has been handed, handed over to up until now. It means that you people are doing a very good and fantastic job. The Lord that has brought you thus far will always take you to Amen. the end. My name is Dr. Mrs. Bere Ere Enoch Etimia. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, standing on the existing protocols, I wouldn't want to um, say anything before um, greeting my fathers in the building because I've not been here for a very long time. So I want to say good evening, sir. Uh, the bishop, Bishop Bob Manuel, who I served under directly, I want to appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir, for the time I spent with you. Uh, bishop and Reverend Raphael, the father of uh, Reverend today, daddy, we appreciate you. Uh, please put your hands together for them. These have been our fathers here. I won't take long. I just want to say uh, one thing about our brother Joseph, now the Reverend Joseph. You see, sometimes we do things, but we don't know where. You see people that do very well and they are exceptional, but you don't know where they caught their inspiration from. I want to say Joseph was actually the first person that inspired me. This Joseph. But he doesn't know. I remember as a child, I came to Church of God Mission one time uh, in the church for this Omokbai crusade. There was a crusade that was organized by Omokbai, the very first one. I came and he was leading the choir. He was the one playing the piano and doing all the things. Yeah, you're surprised, right? He was the one. You, just as you remember, mass choir that year, those years. I was one of those boys that came. You can imagine. So I came and I saw what he did. He could play, split the keyboard, play, and he did everything wonderfully. And I went back home and I was crying. I started working on myself. I started learning instruments. So you see this man here. He's not just someone who has taught teachers. He has actually taught leaders also, musicians. other directors, musicians. So put your hands together for Joseph. He's an exceptional person. Yeah. Today, and I want to appreciate the church leadership for you to recognize Joseph and bring him to the place of a reverend. Please, 
is not something that is found easily. It's something that is found afar. Hallelujah. Normally, they don't value, sometimes we go to church and then you see that maybe because of the way instrumentalists behave, they don't really have that much value or give them, put them in positions of uh, leadership and all of that. But I want to appreciate Joseph for having given himself, you know, in a certain way, in this direction, so much so that he could be recognized and given such a honor of a reverend. Please appreciate this man. He's, he has actually set a new bar for all of us that are coming because we now have to try as much as possible to meet up with that standard too. Hallelujah. Joseph, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You stand for. Thank you very much. Please, we are speeding up. We have two more awards to take.